Welcome to Are Your Web Service Calls Getting Blocked by the Environment? Hey, I'm Eric. And um, a thing that we see too often, I think, is that something that uses web services to call whatever suddenly doesn't work and you get weird errors and, and there's no good explanation until suddenly uh, there is a good explanation. Let, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is an app we did a while ago on the channel, years ago on the channel, now two years ago, I think. Um, that will call us in web service and ask for the uh, the IP address of, of the, the calling machine. Uh, I call this and it doesn't work. I don't get uh, a, a web service. Um, so let's actually Let's try to do this again, and we'll do it with a debugger. Um, here's the code, so we call an address, and if we get a successful status code, then we get an IP address. So I call this, so where is our friendly debugger? It's here, we do a get, get returns false. Whoops. So why does get return false? Um, because we don't even get to test whether we get the right status code or we get the wrong status code. Well, the reason for this can actually be found in extension management. Uh, so the first time any app tries to call a web service. Oh, what happened there? Extension management. Uh, uh, the first user encountering this will be asked, hey, um, this app is trying to connect to a, uh, a an external uh, service. Do you want to allow it or block it? And if the user, a well-trained user that, hey, this sounds dangerous, let's block, blocks it, then this flag on, on the extension is turned off. And now it stops working. So if I turn this on again and ask, what is my IP address? I get an IP address. Let's turn it off again and see if we can catch this in code instead. So um, we know that, and, and apparently we had a slight spelling thing going on when we created this video. So let's put this into a, so we know that get returns false. So what we so what happens here is actually that even though get returns false, response still holds some useful information, which is kind of a weird protocol. Uh, but what we can do is that we can say if response dot and here is the thing is blocked by environment, then we can create a nice message to a user saying error. Please turn on allow HTTP client requests from the configure page in extension from the, let's do the apps configure page in extension management. to allow blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's try this. Actually, now I'm gonna do it without the debugger. So deploy, no debugger. Please turn on allow HTTP client requests from the apps configure based in exchange management. Um, and I have seen for unknown reasons, I think sometimes users get uh, get prompted by this, even though they have been prompted. I don't know if, if, if after an upgrade or whatever, but scenarios where this flag suddenly is turned off. So what I'm doing now in, in basically all my apps is that whenever I have a web service call, uh, it might be deep down buried after four other web service calls. I just check test for this. I always test for this. Um, so, I can at least give users a nice way, perhaps phrased a bit nicer than this, but give a user a way to say, hey, this is what happened. 
so you might as well uh, go in and flip the switch if you want this to work. So that's a quick little tip on making your web service calls more robust, making your web service called more predictable, reliable, uh, because this happens. Uh, I don't know why this switch gets turned off, uh, but but I've seen uh, with eFocus, we have several apps that relies heavily on, on web services uh, and um, it happens. So um, it's a good, good tip. Uh, if you want another tip, I could suggest you check out this video because it's a good one. See you there. Take care. Bye.